Gordius Class Tactical Archaism Development Plan. Author, 13 Factories. Codename, Potter Mater. Plan Overview. We intend to develop a cutting-edge archaism that inherits the DNA of the rest of the Gordius series, while containing a more advanced control system. It will retain the same tactical effectiveness that was the primary development goal in previous models, while allowing for more flexible and precise strategic usage as well. Effective radius. The archaism is intended to be accessible across the whole continent. Powerful main and sub-engines should allow it to operate for several years without resupplying. Autonomous Combat Ability The use of the Mars Integrated Orbital Arithmetic Logic Unit will allow for advanced autonomous combat and effective identifying of targets. In addition, the Archaism's control system will make use of the operator's nervous system, allowing for reflexive, instinctive movements in combat. The operator will communicate with the Archaism without being in physical contact with it. This will require a compatible candidate to be found and chosen. Dimension Height slash weight Overall height, 15.5 Arge Unit weight, 55 Torum 68 Torum when fully armed Armament The Archaism's primary weaponry will be its orbital energy cannons but it will have other kinds of orbital weaponry and even several gunpowder-powered weapons as backup. It will also have a revival system, which will use an orbit to generate healing energy to heal or revive its operator in times of danger. Armor Material The armor plating will be made using Cordelligan alloy. Cordelligan is the most fitting material to use, given that it is the most capable we have access to in all regards. For data regarding strength, See files on Gospel Plan. Current progress. New engines. Development is proceeding smoothly in line with the plans drawn up by Professor Novartis. Tests have also confirmed that they are already capable of providing power to the actuators. However, the professor has raised concerns about the low responsiveness of the flight engine. This is especially true for the anti-gravity generator. He concluded that the engine as it stands cannot be put into actual use. The possibility of using boosters to provide additional propulsion is under consideration. Actuators Development of the actuators is experiencing significant difficulty, as it isn't possible to simply use the same ones as other archaisms. The increased size of the main weaponry means the archaism's weight during combat is significant, and as a result, Problems have been occurring in durability tests, especially with the leg joints. It may be possible to make improvements in this area by using precise control so the weight burden is spread evenly rather than focused on one point. Main Armaments The orbital energy cannons that will serve as its primary armaments have been successfully tested. However, by order of Professor Novartis, the possibility of them becoming twin mounts is being analyzed, so they have yet to be equipped. The new orbital engines are expected to be able to provide enough energy to compensate for the necessary increase in output. Control system. Experiments regarding the control system are currently ongoing. For the results of the experiments that have been carried out so far, see a separate entry. Experiment results. Tests of the control system continue to be performed. However, none of the test subjects have been able to realize the expected level of precision we are aiming for. The results of the main tests conducted by Professor Novartis and his team can be viewed above. Test results. Test subject. Subject A1. Abnormality during phase two. Comatose. Test subject. Subject B3. Abnormality during Phase 3. Cardiac arrest. Test subject. Subject C1. Abnormality during Phase 1. Insanity. Test subject. Subject P7. Abnormality during Phase 2. Comatose. Test subject. Subject E3. Abnormality during Phase 2. Cardiac arrest. 
Test subject. Subject F2. Abnormality during phase 2. Comatose. Test subject. Subject G4. Abnormality during phase 3. Comatose. Test subject. Subject H1. Abnormality during phase 2. Comatose. Test subject. Subject I6. Abnormality during phase 4. Mental breakdown. As can be seen, all of the test subjects failed to adapt to the control system. Nonetheless, the Society continues to supply test subjects, and we intend to keep performing further experiments. Future Development We have received word from the Society that development is to be temporarily frozen. Their reasoning is that the stability of the control system is in question. From now on, only test subjects carefully chosen by the Society will be taking part in connection tests. Test Subject Subject R3 Successfully completed all four testing phases. Note, the subject did experience a small degree of flashbacks. Test Subject Subject R3 Succeeded in communicating with Potter Potter. Ascertaining the Society's intentions in regards to resuming development. Subject R3 has succeeded in operating Potter Motter.